Hello, I am Bentham, and welcome back to the Factorio No Crafting Challenge. And it's been a while, I'm slightly uh, disorientated, is that the word? I don't know. It's been um, multiple weeks since we last actually did this. It's been more weeks for me than for you, because I did a bunch of uh, batch recordings. I knew that I was going to be busy and wouldn't have enough time to record. So, yeah, I haven't played this or indeed any Factorio in like nearly a month which is weird so I'm, I'm slightly all about the place but um, I've watched past uh, I watched back the the most recent episodes and got an idea of what was going on so I just made a power suit this one here we're getting it all charged up and ready uh, we got our thing over here making some more uh, shields there we go we got a nice 3x3 three three grid of them going there, we got an assembler there for making random stuff, and the electricity has gone horrifically wrong. Why has this happened? Oh wow, the power consumption has gone insane. Um, and it is because of the assemblers, actually, which is interesting, so... Oh, and furnaces. I guess me upgrading all of the assemblers meant that there was just more production of everything, which meant that just more power consumption happened. Okay, so science. We've got Combat Robotics 3. Uh, what else is there to do? I don't know how exactly how far I'm going to go with the science because I could just fast track straight to rocket defense, get all that done, but I feel like doing a couple of the fiddly bits. Um, though most of the fiddly bits are now done. Maybe we should start with rockets. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I mean, at the moment, it'll mean that we're not using blue science, which is good because um, that's less production and it, it seems like we need that right now because everything's gone horribly, horrifically wrong, as it likes to do. There we go. The, the, the first thing that happens when I come back is everything breaks. Yeah, it looks like the, the power consumption went off the charts. I didn't think there was that much more power consumption. Maybe there isn't, and it's just that it's all just stacked up. Okay, let's go grab... Some more of these make the problem even worse. Because there's a couple of last little bits that need it, and then we've got everything covered. So there's those three. And then there's some stuff over here. We can upgrade these so we get the, uh, the shields coming as quickly as possible. And then we've got two more. And what I'll do is put those into... Oh no, we've got another two here as well. Um, here, you can have one. And you can have one. We're going to move this. It's going to go there. And then we're going to get an inserter going into this because we want to make some uh, exoskeletons. Which need 30 electric engines each. That is not fun. We don't even have one on hand. Well, we've got a chest with 50 in them, actually. So that's not terrible. There's three already in there. So, yeah, what we need is processing units and steel plates. I guess we'll go for two right now to fit in this bit here. So we want to get 20 processing units and 40 steel plates. Let's grab that. Here's the processing units. 20, exactly. And it goes, and then the steel is here. We, we don't want gears, we just want the steel. And we want to get 40 of this. Perfect. In that goes, and then once we actually have enough electric engines, that will start making some exoskeletons for us. Um, any more shields? Yep, there's one more. They're just steadily coming in. In fact, we're, we're, we're going to be done with them in in five minutes at this rate. We may even shut down it. The, actually, no, we'll not shut down the level one in, uh, shield production when the time comes, because we always might want more shields for whatever reason. Uh, right. So, we need to fix the power. We have some efficiency modules handy. Do we have any level 1s we can grab? Because they are oh, great. There's the, Okay, there's one. We've got one. We're making progress. It's all going to be fine. Right, we've got a bunch of level 2, so let's go make use of those. We can go to uh, the various furnaces we have around the place, and I'm sure there are some that don't have efficiency modules in. Previously, I will have had a good idea, but it's been a while now, so I've forgotten um, what's where in terms of modules and things. Yeah, there's got to be some free spaces here. Uh, now I need to remember the button combination. It's that one. That is the combo. Oh yeah, these all need it. Except these random two in the middle. Oop, steady, steady lag. What are you doing? Don't know why it does that. It's really weird. 
Okay, that's all sorted there. And put them in here where we can. Alright, and we've used up all 50 of our modules there. And the power consumption should have dropped. Except right now, we are using everything to the absolute max, I think. Ah yes, because the accumulators are still charging. They are nearly done, but they're barely going to be done before night starts falling again, and then they're going to uh, die horribly. So, I, I think we also need to add in more accumulators. Well, we want to just reduce power consumption generally, and that will be a big help. But yeah, there's furnace consumption, and it has dropped an amount, but there's definitely more it can do. There we go, the, the charging is finished, but this night will soon be upon us and then everything will go horribly wrong again. Now we have some alien artifacts on us, and I'm thinking that we start working on... And this is going to break things even more. We start working on the level 3 speed and productivity modules, because we need 50 of each of them to make a rocket defense, so it's going to be a bit of a... a bit of a task to get that all ready. And so we should start on that as soon as possible. We'll do like, uh, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, science has happened. Do that one. Uh, five. That there, we've got 20. We can split that, put one in there, and one in there. And then at some point in the future, we will end up with uh, a bunch of level three modules that we need. So that'll all go crazy for a while. Shouldn't affect how this goes. And there we go, we've got another three, four. Uh, and there's another 26 of these. And I'm wondering if I should cut this connection for now. Yes, because the main cause of all our problems now um, is... Yep, it's the uh, the assembling machines. We need to sort those out. We need to get some efficiency modules in these. And uh, these will have level 1s because there is enough room to uh, fit three modules in. And so it will be wasteful to use level 2s, which uh, use generally more materials. But in the meantime, we do have some level 2s that we can make use of, so let's go up here and carry on where we left off until we've run out, which is at that point. There's one more that needs them there. And then with what few level 1 modules we have right now, we can try and reduce the power consumption of a couple of the, uh, the most used uh, assemblers, so like this one and that one. And seeing as I've disconnected the system over there, we'll get a bunch more through. And everything will be fine again, maybe, possibly. I noticed at the moment we actually have a build-up of processing units, which is ridiculous, and I wonder if I should do something about that. Let's get that. And do we have a provider chest? We do. We'll have a provider chest for these, just in case somewhere needs them delivering. And that will help to, to just clear out things over there. Again, with the with the freezing, it's very strange. There's two of each of those in there. And we've probably got a few more shields handy. Yep, another two. And I think the power's just gone terrible. Wait, has it? I thought I saw that long arm insert to go really slow. Ah, yeah, it did. But then things picked up again and recovered. Well, they, they haven't finished doing that yet, but they're, they're working on it. Yeah, we've still got a problem. It's not as bad now. The accumulators have run out slightly later on. So yeah, the, the efficiency is helping. We need more of it. Let's see. There we go. It's building up like crazy now. They were just all getting used up super fast because of the... Uh, they're being turned to level... Threes. Twos, not threes. As seeing as we've got a bunch of assemblers right here, we can... Put the modules into those. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave that to do its thing for now. Excellent. Maybe we should put more solar panels in? Then again, the accumulators are a problem as well. I don't know if we really need to get it to a point where we need more accumulators than we already have. We've got a, the, the full 3x3 grid. Though we do have more in Rail World, but Rail World is, is crazy. And did all the science as well. That's the thing. I don't think I'm going to go for all the science in this. I think I'm just going to go for the... Uh, sort of stuff that makes the most sense. Um, let's have a look at the science thing now while it's not actually happening. So, yeah, I don't, we're never going to use that, so I don't know where we should research it. I'm not going to do the follower robot count, because that is just a, an endless sink of uh, 
of stuff. All the stuff that's left is just um, iterative upgrades and things that aren't particular. They're not new technologies or anything. So I wonder if there's any point in doing them. But while I was looking at that, I've remembered that there's something that I want to be doing. Uh, a new system that I want to be setting up, and that is production of capsules, because we will we will be able to make some good use of some destroyer capsules dealing with biters. So we have the technology. So I reckon we should set this up. We can do we need ammo and what is it? Circuits and something else. Circuits and gear, so that's a piece of cake, just the ammo is over here. I forget is this a permanent thing I put in? No, it's not. That's, I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be moving this along. I think. If there is good reason. We could just have it delivered by bots. I mean, there's a provider. Yeah, let's just have it. We'll have bots do it. They can deal with the problems. We don't have shotgun shell production, do we? Hmm. What does it use again? Hang on. Uh, it's steel and copper. That is fiddly, so I don't know whether we'd... Uh, move it. We'll just leave it there. We'll have it delivered in. Half of my mental processes right now you will probably not be understanding. Basically, I'm, the system I usually have is that I have um, a row of ammo production. So I have um, both the the machine gun ammo and the uh, the shotgun ammo. But then the machine gun ammo goes onto a belt and goes into all of the production of, uh, of capsules, but I can't be bothered with that. So I'm just going to have it delivered. Again, with the freezing. Right, uh, we need... A belt that goes along here, methinks. Actually, we'll move it along by one because we also need a belt with the ammo, probably. So then, can we get this to work? Yes, yes we can. We just need to do that. Get some underground belts around the place. And then we can swing around the gears and do that. Bring them straight over. And there we have it. I'll cut that belt there because I don't know how long it's going to end up being. And then we'll also make uh, a belt for ammo. So we'll have a provider. Not provider, a requester. And that. Tell the requester to request an amount of ammo. How much? Not that. Let's say... We'll say 50. We'll be generous, because it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I mean, it may end up hogging all of the ammo. If that does happen, then we can deal with it, though. Right, so... I'm going to work out the ratios and stuff, because I've messed this up in, in previous times. So it takes 8 seconds to make one of those. 15 to make a distractor capsule, but it takes 4 defender capsules. So to make one uh, distractor capsule, you need... Is it... Two defenders assemblers? Because each one will make two every 15 seconds. Yeah, you need two to each one of these, and then for these, um, it takes 15 again, so you would need four distractor capsule assemblers for destroyers, which is a little bit overkill. So, what I think I will do is just have two for one. We'll, we'll do four, two, one. That's how we'll set it up. I'm going to go get some uh, some assemblers for the job. Seeing as we're getting a bunch of those being made now, though that might be getting limited because now that we're making the level three speed modules, um, all the level ones are going to be uh, stolen away, and they won't be able to be turned into uh, into the assemblers. I do see some there. We've got five. It's not quite enough. We need uh, seven in total. We'll repurpose some other assemblers around the place so that we can have these all being the the fastest ones because I think that's best. There we go. So we've got the seven that we need. How are these going? We've got one. And then there's only one more we're making, actually. Uh, there it is. Put it there, and now we can run faster. Yeah! We'll be using... Oh, I was going to say we, we'll be using up our battery, but of course we have the... Uh, we have the special power core thing um, already, so that's fine. Yeah, we need one more shield. And then we're all good, and that's going to be crafted sooner rather than later. It's all going fairly well, apart from the the yeah the power issues. The power issues. How are they now? Ooh, the uh, it's been a nice recovery for solar panels. For some reason, they've turned into the green line, 
which is strange. I'm not sure why they've done that. I didn't think they usually uh, ended up green. They were always either the orange or the blue one. Yeah, it's, it's night time right now. We're seeing how it's going. It looks like we might be all right. Midpoint's about there, and we're at about the midpoint of night time. Ooh, it's going to be... I think we might run out of power just... Just before everything goes fine. It looks like there wasn't that much of a problem the previous night now. We need more modules anyway. Right, let's put this here. Let's put it there. And then, what do we want? Do we want one there? I want to try and get the positioning sort of perfect. We need to really cram things in to make this work, actually. So, um, that. And then, we're not going to be able to do it, are we? We're not going to make it so that we can combine them all well. That's fine. One, two, three. And then we can put that there. Actually, there's no point in putting that there. We'll put it there. We'll put that there and there. Well, there's no reason to do it like that. There we go. We can just cram it in as, as much as we, we like, and it doesn't make a difference, ultimately. And we'll have that like that, and that all works out. Everything lines up with everything else, uh, one way or another. We can put these in, and then we can have inputs, outputs, and then an input there. And um, apart from this, like, going from the, the second to the third stages, it'll all balance out right. Um, in terms terms of time. So we'll put some normal old fast inserters here. We'll put some long-armed ones here. I just, we'll put it on this side for reasons that are irrelevant. Or we could make it we could make it a nice pattern sort of thing. Like that. There we go. That's, that's pretty something. Then we'll... Oh, and I lined up the end perfectly with that, unless I deconstructed it while I wasn't thinking. All right. We'll tell these to make their things, and they will do just that. Yep, they're all crafting. We can get... Ooh. I see we can fit this in over here. And that works out absolutely fine, okay. And so these will all load into these. We can tell these to make uh, distractors. So all these need is advanced circuits. We can make a requester chest for advanced circuits. I mean, I could pipe them over. But this looks nice, so whatever. All right, and then here, I don't think we even want a uh, a chest. I think we just want them to use the ground for it, and that'll work. I'm getting delivered a bunch of uh, fast inserters. Excellent. I love this system. I sort of forgot that it did this. It just delivers me all the random things that I need. Fantastic. Steady, steady. There we go. I will tell this to make the final thing anyway. Uh, destroy a capsule, and ooh, we want... What we'll do is we'll put a... Oh, we'll do it on this end. Request a chest. Provide a chest. Input. Output. This requests... Whoops. It requests... Uh, speed modules. You can have ten of them. We'll put a limit on this. And that should all function now. We'll just give it a minute to see how it goes. The issue is whether any speed modules will actually get to it, because I imagine there's... Yep, the, the chest is empty now. Whenever the... Uh, the guys set off to pick it up, by the time they arrive, it will be gone. Have these finished? Ah, they have! So it's going to start building up again, it's going to get back to... Uh, building up the level 1 speed modules. That's good then, that's fine. We can be happy with that. Meanwhile, we've got nearly a full 50 efficiency modules. Excellent. Let's go distribute these around the place. You can all have some. And this is probably not the best use of it because these aren't on all the time. Basically, when when you're putting your visiting modules in places, you want to put them in all the stuff that's running non-stop, uh, first of all. But it was the nearest to hand, and I'm lazy, so I did that. So we'll just try and get as much of the circuit stuff efficient as we can, and this should be a huge help uh, with the power, though it may be fine already. I will check the graph momentarily. It's weird. I swear there was nine, and then it went to eight. It's like I dropped one, but I, I can't have dropped one, can I? This is one randomly in the system now somewhere. I doubt it. I don't think I pressed Z when I was 
doing stuff. Oh, some of these already have uh, modules in. Uh, over here, we still need to put some in. There we go. We'll keep these two for now. And oh yeah, we'll check the power. It's, it's dropping off. I see things dropping. And it looks like we didn't have a power problem. If there was any sort of blip, it was a really small one that you couldn't... You wouldn't be able to tell. So that looks good to me. I think we fixed the power for now. We've also got um, all the stuff over here running. Fantastic.